Alright guys, so I'm going to do a review, of, you know, make it a little different this time around. So I'm going to review the uh, Stellar RDA. Okay, I'm also going to, at the same time, review the 26650 Stellar RDA. Now these are both clones. Um, I actually buy all these RDAs, so none of them are given to me. So I'm biased as hell. If it doesn't work right, I'm going to be pissed. I think that's a better review than, you know, trying to favor a device. I don't do that, guys. So, straight up to you guys, these Stellar RDAs are worth every penny as far as the clones go. They are my favorite, favorite RDAs as of right now. Um, and here's the reason why. These RDAs do not require any fiddling with. They don't. At least this clone didn't. This, 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 this one might, because the O-rings are a little bit loose, and they just pop off quite too easily. But, um, as far as that goes, that's just O-ring replacements. It just chucks the vapor. The flavor is awesome. Okay, so, um, both of these Stellaris pretty much are all stock. I've not done anything to them. Um, this Stellar 2, not, nothing to it. All I did was build coils, pop them in, wick it up, and there you go. I'm running both of them at half airflow. Now, I have a 0.24 ohm coil in here and a 0.3 ohm coil in that um, 26650 mod. And they're both performing fantastic, both with half airflow. What I noticed is when I crank it open, it's too much airflow. Too much airflow feels kind of harsher as far as when you get the hit and not as much dense vapor and flavor. So we got that out of the way. How much are these? They're like 20 to 30 bucks, depending on where you get them. The clones, at least. The authentic ones, probably a hell of a lot more. Which I'm thinking about getting, because these are one of my favorite RDAs. Um, exactly what I did with the um, with the, the Origins. This one, can you guess what this one is? Can you guess what this Origins is? Um, and can you guess what that one is? Can you, can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess what they are? I don't know if you can. Well, one's a clone, one's an authentic. And that's how even these are together. Um, I bought the clone, I liked it, so I bought the authentic. And the authentic has some writing on the bottom with the serial number and all that. But either or, either or. So that's what happened with the Origins, and that's pretty much what's happening with the Stellar. I'm thinking, I'm on the fence about getting the authentic. I'm because these clones work so well, and I have a shit ton of them, really. Um, this 26650 Stellar has a 0.3 ohm coil in there. Um, this Hades, Hades clone um, is also a Stellar, but instead of the Stellar writing, it's just a Hades logo. Um, the back has the serial number for the Stellar, the fake serial number, as far as the back for the Hades. Stellar clony thingy, it does not, but essentially it's exactly the same. If anything, actually, the Hades one's a little bit better. The O rings are a little thicker. So, <clears throat> right back to it. How she perform? No complaints. I do have a fan going off. Um, it is right in front of me, right here. So, I'm kind of leaning forward a little. I am freaking loving it. Loving it. So let's go ahead and take her apart and kind of show you the innards of it. Um, there's no close up for this one. Really, it's the freaking RDA. It's really not much to close up on. I'm not going to build a coil or anything. You guys already all know how to do that. And if you don't, it's freaking easy. Um, you could look at one of her trippers' videos. He's the coil building guru. Um, so here is the the Stellar, you pop it off like such for the deck has a triple post and then we'll put the deck away we'll wipe the deck down and then put her away that's because I don't like any e-juice anywhere and then we got the top cap and then the greatest thing about the top cap is that, let me wipe this down too this top part does come off you see? The inner sleeve has two air hole cutouts. I'm going to go ahead and 
get rid of any juice parts of this, like such, and the outside tubing of this, um, it's going to cost the there, but no, that's a clone, has two cutouts. Now, there is no single, single coil hole mode. Um, this is not a problem, although it would have been easily fixed with just one little slit right here. One more hole right here would have made it a single coil, you know, up, as far as compatibility goes. But no, they could only put two in here. Um, I believe the authentic one's the same. Uh, it's not a big problem. Um, cutting these cyclone holes out is going to be a pain in the ass, so I don't suggest you do it. What I suggest you do is just use a little bit of clear tape and clear tape that right there. So now you have only a single coil. <laughs> it works great. I, I do it all the time. Um, so that's that. But anyways, with my Solar, I always run dual coils anyways. So I don't see an issue with that. That's how this comes apart. Obviously, if I pin drip tip and all that, this drip tip is not the, the one that it came with, or I believe it doesn't even come with one. <clears throat> but this is the palm with the metal base drip tip thing. I just, I just really like how it, how it looks, really. So let's go ahead and pop that back on. That is how that top cap looks with it. You line up the holes. Um, whatever, I'm going to take it back out anyways. You pop it in. Well, that is the gist of it. There's really not much more to say. Let's go ahead and line up this hole here to that coil and then see if it lines up the back and works. I tell you, it's just finesse. It's such easy vapor, and what I love about this the most, okay, is when I drip it, I could only take out the outside tube like this, which will leave the inside tube exposed. Let me just adjust this. Tighten her up. Normally, I'll have it like such. Okay. And all I would have to do, see that, see that, see that, see that, is um, just drip. And I have so much room for error, I could leave a lot of room there. Right? And I have so much room for error here that this is actually pretty perfect. You could even over drip, and that lip really, really has a good juice well. <clears throat> so this is my favorite dripper, and this is exactly the reason why. Um, it is pretty much perfect out of the box. It performs absolutely great. Uh, it has plentiful amounts of airflow, even for a big, big, big um, strict lung hitter like myself. As a matter of fact, it has too much airflow. That, that is why I only use half open. Okay, it is at half and half. At the same time, this one as well is at half and half. Okay. So how does this stack up to other RDAs? Um, so far, as of right now, I have no other RDAs that perform as well as this still there. Um, what does that mean? That means that out of the box, without me modifying, now the IGO M was a total failure. Uh, at least the one I got, the, the post started spinning and, and all that crap, and it's just it just wasn't to the level of quality that I expected. Although I have been hearing a lot from a lot of people that the IGO M's work great. For me, straight out of the box, the still there. Hands down, it's the reason why I have three of them. Believe it or not, I'm actually running low on battery on this thing. Um, it's the reason why I love vaping at 0 0.24, 0 0.3 ohm, is that I could really ride out the battery um, battery curve. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on the charger. Pop it up. Battery, another battery.
For the sake of the review, I am using the Panzer mod. Um, because of these reviews that I'm doing, I'm having a crap ton of extra mods laying around. There we go. You see, it produces. It chucks vapor like no tomorrow. What am I vaping on? I'm vaping on SOS e liquid, Omega Fruit. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, it's there. It's getting popular slowly. Slowly. But, you know, it's pretty much the only juice that I could vape day in and day out and non stop. So, there we go. Close her up. Such a huge freaking difference between a full battery. Okay, and from me to the camera is about six feet, so um, yeah, about six feet. So you'll know kind of how much it plumes from straight out of the box. No drilling necessary. Um, I'm going to cut this off here. There's really not much to say about it. It's a two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, all that. So if you're looking for RDA, that's like one in and one all. Um, something that you don't have to adjust, drill hole, or anything of the above. Just use it the way it is. It's still there. Um, I really highly recommend, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. If you have a question, leave a comment. Um, I do have a bunch more freaking products that I have to review. I'll try to keep them short for the most part, except for my babes, all right?